Hello and welcome back to Christine's Coloring. I know it's been a long time. Um, I had uh, had a double ear infection for about a month here. Anyway, um, during that time I had been able to um, order some new media and some different things here. Uh, one of the things that I ordered was the uh, Derwent Inktense pencils. Uh, we'll go over how to use these today. Um, I'm still not very proficient, uh, but I'll, I'll do my best to show you how they work. We've we'll, got a little test sheet out here and uh, some brushes and water and stuff. <clears throat> and then I got a couple other things. Um, some other pencils, of course, because I'm a pencil addict. And then some coloring books here. Um, and then forgive the sideways motion today. I'm trying something different um, over here on... Uh, a more solid foundation than what I usually do my work on that and I can reach things a little bit easier anyway um, this is called the parrot coloring pages volume one uh, from Richard Edward Hargraves or Hargreaves and it's got some beautiful pictures in here of some parrots to color you can even choose how you're gonna do their eyes um, some of the names I don't really recognize <laughs> I mean, I know what a salmon crested cockatoo is, uh, is otherwise known as a molecan. And a greater sulfur crested cockatoo is a greater sulfur crested cockatoo. Same thing with the lesser sulfur crested. Uh, and the lead betters, of course, is that uh, big bright pink one you guys uh, might very rarely see. Uh, Major Mitchells is also what they're called. I don't know what they mean by Bodden's cockatoo. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> they've got a lot of really nice pictures in here to color. I'm kind of looking forward to using this book. Um, I want to do most of it in the Derwent Ink Tents, so um, I haven't quite started yet. I just got to get better with those Ink Tents pencils. I think they'll do really, really good in this book and really bring the colored birds to life. Uh, as much life as they can get without yelling shut up at me. <laughs> uh, but there's a lot of cute pictures in here and it's all one-sided, as you can see. And here I'm skipping one. And what's nice is the back of the page is numbered. So, you know, this would be 25, and then that's 26. And I thought that was kind of cool. That makes it a little bit easier to uh, count the pages, um, especially when it comes to some of the other books. Uh, they don't have that. And, um, you know, they'll have in the back of, like a glossary of, you know, what flowers they are or what animals they are or whatever and you can google them to uh, kind of get like a model so you could color it like the model picture that you find um, and this one does and it's just a lot of nice birds and it doesn't really necessarily have a glossary in the back oh I love that one um, but it has a glossary here so you see all the birds colored and what pages they're on and that makes it so much easier I really like this book I cannot wait to use it I may cheat and use it with some poly, uh, polychromos uh, here soon and then of course I gotta get this book out of here uh, this is a picture I started with the Derwent ink tents and you could tell that this is my very first picture because this wing looks like crap um, Excuse me, uh, but the tail looks really nice. The second wing is starting out pretty good. Um, I need to work on it some more. Uh, these, I know you can't see in the in the photo so much, um, but these are all with my metallic pencils that I got. My uh, Marco Ruffings and my favorite Castell metallic pencils, uh, except for the middle. That's done with some Derwent ink, te ink tents too, but that's just me uh, doing my thing for the first time. And this is from a new book, uh, Daydreams, by Hannah Carzone. And I don't know if she has a glossary thing in the back or not. Here, I want to keep my page marked. I don't think if I don't think she does. Not like the other one. No, there's nothing back here. Okay, but she's got a lot of neat and interesting pictures. I really like the bird to be for my first trial on using the Turwin ink tents. There's a lot of really cute pictures in here. Um, I kind of look forward to, to coloring them because I've been in a flower mood lately, which is really strange for me. Uh, but here's a nice page. Um, we may have already gone over this book. I don't remember. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while. 
um, just because I had been sick with that double ear infection. A little bit of bronchitis is what started it. <laughs> anyway, uh, the butterfly you could color uh, as it's drawn here, and here you draw in your own butterfly and stuff like that. It's just a really cute book. Um, I'm looking forward to coloring. It's got some really nice pictures in it. And there's a fish. You could do the same thing as you can with the, the butterfly. Let me mark my page again. And then we'll put Hannah Carl Zone up. Carl Zone, Carl Zone. And then we'll go ahead and start getting to testing out some of the pencils, the newer pencils I just bought. Um, those being the Derwink Intense. Uh, but before we do that, uh, let me recommend something to you guys that is going to be like a huge help for you. And I can't find what I did with the package. Um, that's okay. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's called um, the Tombow uh, Mono. It's a really tiny eraser. And it does work. I have been using it, as you can see. It does work quite well. Um, it's kind of work, works like the bigger one right here, only it's more for smaller spaces. So um, I'm really hoping uh, that this will continue to be helpful in the future and we'll have a good time here. It has helped me with the, the uh, this picture in particular actually um, from mm -mm -mm, Jade Summers uh, Cute Mermaids. <clears throat> Is it Jade Summer? Let me double check, because I don't know if it's Jade Summer or not. <laughs> I just know it's Cute Mermaids. Let's see here. Yeah, it's Jade Summer, Cute Mermaids. Wanted to make sure I properly recognize. Anyway, um, there's been a couple places where I've been doing this cute little girl here, and I got, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, there's still a little bit of pigment on there. Uh, not a lot, um, but you can see where I can go out of the lines, and I kind of erased it, and it worked really nice, and I'm kind of having a good time working on her right now, and I probably will continue to work on her until she's done, uh, even though we're going to start a new page today with the uh, ink tenses, and here's one from Jade Summer's Quiet Girls that I just finished. This is one I did at work. Uh, this was actually with all of my Castle Arts supplies. Uh, with the exception of the background, that's my um, current, uh, Korean, Karen Dash. There we go. My Karen Dash pastels. Um, but, and, and I don't think you can see this in the video either, but like her shoes and her crown and her wings are all in the glitter gel pens uh, from Castle Arts. And then the uh, pencils are the Castle Arts pencils um, as well. And I just really thought she came out cute. So I had a good time doing that uh, while I was at work taking calls from not so friendly people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fold this paper in half because I don't know. It, it's Arteza paper or Arteza and I don't know if the water is going to go through. Um, but I picked four colors. Um, I'm going to have chili red and that's number 0500 and then I'm going to have felt green 1530. And as you can see on these two, while I'm holding the felt green, um, the tip and the bottom are pretty much the color indicator. The rest of the barrel is all blue. And then, of course, speaking of blue, here's sea blue, and that's uh, number 1200. And then we're going to have thistle 0720. And these are, of course, all of the Derwin Ink Tents pencils. I got the 72 pack on Amazon. Uh, it was on sale for like, oh my gosh, like 90 some dollars, I believe. Let me go see here. All right, my orders. Where's my Derwins? They were on sale though, and I thought, man, you just really can't beat the sale. I really shouldn't buy anything since uh, we're finally found a house and we're moving in on you know moving in here soon um, but these are normally nearly 200 bucks and I did get them for $94.99 so that was just too good of a deal to pass up especially when I had um, about $50 in Amazon reward points for using my Amazon card so I got these like super cheap and it was very worth it so I, I highly recommend them 
Uh, they are going to take some practice for both me and you. <laughs> anyway, um, a lot of people have these special brushes that hold water and um, I guess you squeeze a little bit of water into it or whatever, but I'm just going to use normal pen brushes for now uh, just because that's what I got. That's what I got and already buying these was bad enough. <laughs> so here we go. Um, some people uh, take the uh, let me wipe this off here they take the brush and they brush it up against the pencil like this and get color all over the brush and it goes down and it it's fine it looks a little washed out to me though I, I'm not sure about this technique um, but let's make sure it's dry here okay but here's what it looks like dry and again, this is the chili red, so it's a little bit of a dark red. And I use kind of like a light to medium pressure here to pull in the color. And then let's get this little bad guy out since he's already got some on him. And then you just kind of go over it. And look how much more intense that is. I like it that way. So, so far that's what we're going to do. All right. And then let's go do our felt green here. I love how these lay down even without being wet. They are just beautiful colors. I really have a good time with them. All right, let's go see this bad boy all wet. Oh, you see, some of them change color drastically and some of them are not very drastic. I don't think the felt green is very drastic but it's still very pretty. All right, I think sea blue is one that really changes because it's super, super, super dark dry and like almost a medium when it's wet, I believe. I swatched them all, but I just picked four random ones out of the box without looking at the swatch list to see who's who. Yep, there it is. It's more kind of a, a medium blue. I'll pull it out a little bit versus that really dark when it's dry and it is a lot that one's very highly pigmented I've noticed some of these are a little more highly pigmented than others alrighty and then thistle which I thought was a pretty purple I think it goes kind of pink though when you make it you know when you activate it and make it wet and that's what they call the putting the water on these because they're they're kind of like watercolor but they're they're not they're called Derwent Ink Tents and they're I think really good light fastness too which isn't a huge concern to me I just I just like to color with pretty colors but yep it goes a little bit pink there as we can see and uh, we'll be playing with some other colors here in just a bit I just wanted to introduce some other pencils here real quick um, they don't have any specific name uh, other than QLC120 and they have this cute little unicorn on the box it's it's really adorbs uh, they're really nice I don't know if they're wax or oil based um, my guess would be uh, wax because the description on Amazon both the English and the UK Amazon um, describe these as soft core and generally a soft core to me means that it's wax based um, and then of course when I bought them uh, Amazon USA had not had them for sale yet so I got them on Amazon uh, UK and I ended up paying $49.56 for them total um, in US dollars and that's $29.49 for the box and of course for shipping was $18.81 on uh, Amazon UK. Uh, they finally did start selling them on Amazon USA and they're a little bit cheaper. Uh, you could get them for $29.99 uh, Amazon USA, just normal Amazon.com uh, with only $10 shipping making them $42.99. So you save a few dollars there and uh, you should be good to go. Here we go. Let me go turn to the cart here and get these out of here because I'm not going to buy them again. 
I already got a set. Eventually, someday, I might buy them again. But anyway, uh, we'll show you kind of what they look like here. These, I just picked out the rainbow color. I really like the end because it's cute and it looks almost pearlescent. Um, they do not have the color names on there. So when you swatch them, you're just going to do it by the color number. And so, um, basically, you're going to have red one, two, three, four, same thing with <laughs> Uh, orange and yellow and green and blue and purple so on and so forth brown and black and gray um, it has a good variety of colors it does come in the 120 set and they do feel good they're very nice got great pigment as I'm showing right here I just decided to pick a bright red and as you can see I could do a medium pressure and a light pressure and they really look good they lay down some good color they smell kind of weird I mean not bad just weird uh, but they do air out. Same thing with the Derwents. Uh, I actually enjoy their smell. Um, not so much with these. It's it's just weird. It doesn't bother me. It's just weird. But if you're sensitive to smells, you might want to air these out for a couple of weeks before you use them. Okay, but that's an orange. And here's a yellow. I picked a very beautiful bright yellow. And I really like these colors. And if I'm being too loud, I do apologize. I do still have one ear out. <laughs> And here's a nice green. Uh, let's go down a little bit medium pressure here on that green. It's a really pretty green. It's actually not that far off from the Derwent Eek Tense green. Uh, and the Derwents are a lot more even on sale than these uh, QLC 120s. And then here's the blue. Dang, I actually picked blue that was a couple of colors that go well with these color, the Derwents. I did not intentionally do that to make a, a comparison. I did not. I really, I promise you, I didn't. <laughs> hey, look, the purple's different. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I love this purple. Oh my gosh, I haven't used them all yet. I've used them um, on some tester pictures and stuff, and I, I really love these pencils. Um, for a budget set, they are amazing. And I think um, if you're on a budget and you want some amazing pictures, pencils these are a good set to get they they do have a wide variety of colors and they're very nice in fact let's go ahead and get my swatch sheet out i'm on the prisma colors for um my little mermaid girl here i'm gonna move this water because i'm having a bad habit of knocking it over every 10 seconds and i've gotten so many things wet let me find the cues oh and while we're in here we'll look at the Dur the derwents too see what i did with the derwents is you know, color name and the number and then like what it looks wet. So this is dry, this is wet. And you kind of get a, a small feeling. I mean, this is kind of like Amazon paper, it's Jade Summers um, swatch book. It's a nice swatch book, um, but the paper uh, is a little bit different from other papers. It's it's not as white, I don't think. and. Um, it's it's not very thin, but it's not super thick either. And it doesn't have much tooth to it. And I don't really care. I just want to kind of get a base idea of what the colors look like to me. Oh, there's my Amazon Basics. <laughs> my Artezas. There's my QLC 120s. And since I didn't have a list of colors and I don't trust the colors of the barrels, I uh, skipped a, a space or two just in case somebody came back a different color. Um, kind of like 169, I'd almost put that in the purples or the pink, but it was in with the red, so, oh well. Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, that's just kind of like <clears throat> what I have done with these guys here. I see large variety of colors. I really love them. I mean, and what really impressed me is the number of browns they have. There's not too many of my sets that have a lot of browns, and I like to mix it up. I like to have different browns for different things, and then they've got some neat fleshy colors uh, that I really had a good time practicing with. Those colors, and I think some of the greens are what I played with. Then, of course, my Castle Arts gel pens. Um, there's my metallic since they only came 12 to a set I put just you know the Marcos on one side and the the Fabers on the others which is fine all right let me go put this up here and we'll get some coloring done today 
get back on the favors. Or, I mean, the... I'll get them later. It's supposed to be Christmas, but whatever. Anyway, we are going to start on a page, because I'm feeling fall-like, uh, by Deborah Mueller. Uh, I'm gonna pick a, I picked a page from her Fall Fairies book. It's really a cute book. It's got a lot of cute little fairy pictures. Oh, my God. I can't wait to do most of these. The, this book I'm going to be in a lot when fall gets here. Or maybe even a little bit before fall gets here because I love autumn. That is one of my favorite time. That is my favorite time of year. So we got a lot of pictures here to choose from. And this is the one I chose today. Oop, don't you fall down. Let me get my Derwent. Those are not it. There we go. Put my water back. All right, and then of course I got, I like this in, in this setup. It, it makes it a little bit easier to color. Uh, but here's the ones I'm gonna use. Um, I watched a video Pamela did on her YouTube channel and she had chosen the colors Golden Yellow, Baked Earth, and Saddle Brown to do a pumpkin. And I thought, well, how cute. I'm gonna try the same thing. Uh, just keep in mind, this is an idea I got from Pamela off of uh, Pamela's colored pencils and it, it's totally her idea I'm just kind of like putting my own spin on it um, she is one of my most favorite favorite colorists her and the lady from coloring bliss oh I love them those two ladies are just the best and I found out too that they talked to each other which I thought was really really cool so okay let's get started on this little pumpkin here I don't know where my light source is gonna be on this guy Let's see. Let's do it this way. Like the light is coming down here. So this will be shadowed. And this is my darkest color, my saddle brown. And then I don't know if you guys will be able to see or not. This is my first video over here in this section. I don't even know if you can see me because I can't see the video. <laughs> so we'll just kind of color this in. And we're not going to do the whole pumpkin because I don't want to make a super long video. I just want to kind of like take what I've learned and share it with everyone else. Especially if you love fall like I do. Oh, it's my favorite time of year. As you can see, the color lays down really nicely. It's really pretty. Let's put that here. And then let's see what baked earth does. And then really I don't want to mess this up because I kind of really like this picture. <laughs> so if I mess it up, I'm going to be super sad. And I think I'm going to try putting on two layers before I activate the colors. And one of the things I learned um, from watching several uh, different videos using the Derwin ink tents is you want to start with the lightest color first when you go to activate. So. Uh, we're on golden yellow now. And so I think that's what we're going to do is we're going to just follow that kind of guideline. Turn it again. Because I definitely don't want to mess it up. We're going to find out though, guys. <laughs> Will she mess it up? The world may never know. Of course the world will know. I'm making a video on it. We're going to find out if I'm messing up or not. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to combine the baked earth and the golden yellow in here. God, I hope I don't mess this up. What? Pamela always says there's no mistakes. Just happy little oopsies. She sounds so much like Bob to me. I love. That's. I think that's why I love her. Oh, if none of you uh, have ever seen it, uh, he was a, a really great artist. He did so many beautiful paintings and everything just came out of his head. He was really neat. It's a shame that he is gone. So. These feel really good going down dry. I hope they look just as good wet. Mm. And especially with, with my non-expertise here. I think I'm going to stop there with the saddle brown instead. Just kind of stop it right in its tracks. 
And see, you could color dry. You don't have to activate the ink tents if you don't want to. Um, for this picture, because I'm going to activate this part, I guess I'm going to have to activate the rest of it. So, that's how that's going to go. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this baked earth down a little bit more. There we go. All the way down there. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks nice. Alright. Now I'm going to use my second smallest brush here. Put that Traja. Okay. I'm going to kind of pat it dry. Alright. Let's activate. Okay, I probably should have got more water on her. My bad. There we go. There it goes. Look how much brighter that yellow just got. Look at that. And then I'll go ahead and do the mix of the yellow and the baked earth. And what's nice is after it dries, it's permanent. It does not get, you know, activated again. And you can go over it again uh, with other colors. Or the same colors, really. And this, this I like about the Derwent ink tents. Ink tents. Um, and it's okay if you get some on the other side because, hey, guess what? You're going to be coloring that later, too. Um, <laughs> But I like them because, hey, no burnishing. And since I have carpal tunnel, uh, just activating these makes them look like there's several layers of color down. Wow. Okay. Now I see the point of having good brushes. <laughs> oh, well. It's okay. Live and learn. And many, many moons after the house, we will go ahead and get us some uh, more professional brushes. <laughs> Until then, gonna have to deal with I gotta, what I need to deal with. All right, now let's go back here and do the saddle brown again. And it does take a little bit of time to dry, so try not to touch it when it's wet. And in fact, I probably just went the wrong direction with this. Oh well, live and learn. And of course, as always, use your interpretation of how the colors should lay down. I'm just laying them down how I think they should look. And this might activate a little bit because that's wet right there. Ah, it's okay. I'm not going to cry about it. Okay, and then we'll do the baked earth. And I'm going to combine the baked earth with the sun yellow on the back here. Because I really like that combo. In fact, I'm going to put the sun yellow a little bit into the saddle brown, too. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. That looks awesome. It looks almost orange, which is kind of neat. I think. And I really like how they came together. So, my friend... And mentor, Miss Pamela, really picked out some good picture or good uh, colors. Good pictures. <laughs> <clears throat> the only problem I have is these roll around a lot when I'm coloring on this table versus the other table. Uh, but the other table is just getting so cramped. I'm having a hard time with it. That and I have to put the camera and myself at an angle where it's really kind of difficult to color. So, I'm just kind of experimenting with different uh, places to see what the best one is for doing a video and coloring and having a good time and eventually upgrading to, um, you know, actual cameras versus the phone, <laughs> which I'm kind of looking forward to and that'll be someday, again, many moons from now since we just bought a house and I can't believe it actually finally came true I thought for sure after we lost that last one there would be no way we'd ever get a house I figured my dreams and my hopes were done might as well give up 
and that just goes to show don't give up <laughs> you never know so now that I know that I'm super excited I think our Christmas present to ourselves is that house because we aren't gonna have much of a Christmas with all the stuff we're about to have to buy for a house <laughs> all right let me get this little guy here wet go ahead and activate and I'm gonna go ahead and go through the medium color since the Sun yellow is on it too I don't think it's gonna mess up anything It'll just, if anything, it'll make it more orange and more pumpkin-like to me. That's what I think, anyway. God, these colors are gorgeous, guys. Oh, I wish you could see this in person. It's so pretty. Wow. And hopefully all you guys have been staying safe and healthy. Uh during this just weird time. I mean, I always thought, man, COVID was going to get me, but nope. I had to have a double inner ear infection where for at least one week, I was completely deaf. There was no way I was going to hear you unless you were screaming at me from the top of your lungs. And I couldn't work, so I didn't make money. No. And it was just really miserable because my body was fine. But since it couldn't hurt here, I couldn't work, and I was just, I was going nuts in this house. Because I wouldn't go anywhere either since I couldn't hear. That means I didn't go for my walks. None of that stuff. Um, but as you can see, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You know, and while I've got some other colors here, let me try one. I don't know which one to try, though. Let's do the thistle. That's chili red. Okay. Let's see. Maybe make her dress kind of purple. I just want to see how it turns out. See what it looks like. Oh, you guys have no idea how happy I am to be able to make a video again, too. Oh, that was just, that was terrible three weeks of my life. Four weeks is still ongoing. Oh, I love it. This color is gorgeous. Oh, love it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's so pretty. Herbigerd! Herbigerd! It's just gorgeous! And the pumpkin looks really good too. I cannot believe how all these colors come together. And it actually, I mean, I'm using sun yellow and then two different browns. And they it looks orange with a little bit of brown on, in there to kind of give it a shadowy effect. That is just amazing. I don't know if you guys are just as amazed as I am, but I'm pretty freaking amazed. <laughs> Um, but hey, uh, let me know how you like this viewpoint. Um, I don't know if you can see me. I won't know until I get ready to edit the video. Um, but let me know if you like, can see the, the coloring better or if it's worse. Uh, let me know how you like the viewpoint. Uh, just comment below. And then of course, uh, if you like my video, uh, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit your bell notifications uh, so you can um, be notified when I do have another video uh, which should hopefully with the exception of maybe uh, the first week of August should be back to normal with regular Thursdays and yada 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 oh hey look what I found the package of my <laughs> refills <laughs> but this is kind of like the package of my with the Tombow eraser will come in <laughs> And this is just the one for my refills, though. Oh, my gosh. Into the video. And there's my eraser refills. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video today. And uh, don't forget to go visit some of the, uh, the, what I call my mentors, the people that have been teaching me really good things. Uh, Coloring Bliss is on YouTube. Uh, Painless Passion for Pencils. Uh, both of these ladies are really great. They do awesome tutorials. 
and um, they're really helpful. Uh, I don't know about uh, Jennifer Stay at Coloring Bliss. Um, I know she does have her own Patreon and like her own following. Um, I follow Pamela's a little bit more, uh, and she has um, her own one-on-one -on -one private tutorials and also uh, group tutorials uh, where a group signs up. It's not very expensive. Uh, just help support her and her family and uh, learn something valuable off of her if you want to be a better colorist. Um, I've already done one um, private session with her. Uh, it's going to be a little while before I can do another, uh, but I really had a great time. I really learned a lot, and I look forward to learning more and being able to share with you guys. Anyway, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.